Let's do something fun. We have regulars on this show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your first regular coming up tonight, very polarizing figure. I absolutely love him. A lot of people hate him. He has a definitive style of lying and improvising and sort of using his own branding. Sometimes he uh, is known for pandering to get an audience on his side and then going into some of his hard-hitting brand new material with a new minute every single week the regulars are always something to keep an eye on always a force of nature in the comedy world here on kill tony make some noise for william montgomery everybody here he is so uh after what's going So uh, after last week, after my uh, Shark Week joke, my life has really changed. I was on $100,000 pyramid. I was on Jeopardy. I was on you name it, I was on it. I'm opening up next week for not only Cat Williams, but Cat Stevens. Uh, I don't know if y'all were able to see last year uh, the Troll Godfather spoiler alert. It's not about the mafia. It's about trolls. William with a new minute. Heck yeah, William. How do you feel, pal? I feel all right. It's been a long week. Yeah, why has it, why has it been a long week for you? I'm the new spokesperson for Dial Soap. I was in Sacramento two nights ago. How'd you get that gig? How'd you end up getting the spokesman? They saw my hands from the show. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is there a hand model? I am, if you want to call it that. All right. What do you call it? I call it a model. Just a regular just model? Just a straight-up model. Unless someone asks specifically what kind of model, you just go with a broad answer. I'm a model. I'm a professional model. I'm a model. model. They focus in on my hands. I mess a lot uh, with rings. I do... Heck Yeah. I noticed that you didn't say anything really to get the audience on your side, which has been a device that has worked a lot as of late. Is there a reason why uh, you didn't open up Guns a Blazin' with a local reference or anything like that? I was going to start out with a, uh, uh, I'm from Memphis, there's a wonderful sushi place called Nagasaki. I was <laughs> going to open up with that. Well, good thing I, you didn't, clearly. Uh, good thing you didn't. Montez, what's going on? Normally, I'm killing it. <laughs> you realize that Montez... It has turned into a nightmare up here. I'm totally on edge. You realize... I had to uh, move to a new apartment. I was in Sacramento two nights ago. I didn't sleep for three days. I took ecstasy. I was at the Dial headquarters. Where is the Dial headquarters? Outside of Sacramento on Phillips Street. <laughs> Phillips in second. Now, you called him Montez. Now, William, you do realize that Eric Griffin just plays a character named Montez. That, that this isn't... Uh, he's, the guy you see on Workaholics isn't an actual guy that's here. That's an a, a, he's, he's an actor. This is Eric Griffin. Do you know this, William? Eric, it is so nice to be on the stage with you tonight. I saw you at a show at the Improv in a couple nights. You're so sweet to let me open up for you. <laughs> Did you just... Did you just invite yourself? Have you ever... You're so nice. I totally appreciate it. My dad's worried about me. He's like, William, your comedy thing is going down the drain. You're losing momentum on Kill Tony. Steve Lee, this, Smart is, father. this is your first time seeing William Montgomery. You have, a, you have any thoughts? or? I, I, he's awkward, but I like him a lot. Yeah. yeah. You are a little awkward because you said troll. You kept saying troll, and you keep, kept looking at Eric. <laughs> Nicely done, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you passive aggressive little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, William, anything else happened this week that we should know about? 
I'm currently filming for a new show called Ghost Stories. Um, it's on TNT. I'm getting a bunch of money. Do you say TMT? TNT, Turner... Uh, Network Television. Network Television. Television. It's based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. What are you? What are you playing in the Ghost Stories show? A ghost. Oh, wow. My Is it not just your hands though? Are you like a hand? It's not ghost? my. It's my whole body. Oh, your whole body this time. What kind whole of whole body? What kind of ghost? What do you do on it? You come out from under the bed, or uh... it's at a skating rink. I'm skating really fast on my rollerblades. Wow. I died there ten years before. Uh, just really fast. There's a really good video editor. Sort of makes me translucent. Really cool. Y'all tune in TNT next Thursday, 9 o'clock. All right. I'm going to... Uh, everybody. What the gonna... fuck was that? <laughs> wow. That was a Red sick. Band, this is probably my best set, and you're really going to fuck it up <laughs> like that? Best set? The last hour? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> Oh boy. He's so mad he even broke character to tell him off. <laughs> uh, this is this is all of one thing. Let me ask you something, William. Okay, about let me, William. Let me ask you something about your physical appearance here. And now, we've had a lot of talks about this and about that. There appears to be some serious, some serious swelling going. Oh wait a second. Is he? Oh wait a second. Is he doing his trademark wink? The audience loves it. Look at this. They, they're going crazy. This works every time. I think time. the people that really love it are the comics over there. They're just thinking, who's this dumbass? Why are they taking my time? <laughs> hey, gave them a little wink. They love it. They absolutely love it. Old Wink Martindale over here. What was that, a wink? Hey! It was a blink. Wow. You, you just completely... Did you get me to go a completely off track changing the subject about the fact that you look like you're 10 months pregnant right now, William? Tony, I'll have you know I purchased this shirt two months ago on eBay. It was $500. This is a collector's piece. Uh huh. You're the, you're the only person I know where the podcast adds 10 pounds. Uh. <laughs> This is bad, isn't it? It's, it's getting a little out of control. Tony, I'm going to ask you a question. Is sure. your liver right here? <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a tapeworm or something. No, that's not it's how tapeworms It's recently been hurting work. me. It's the wrong direction. Tapeworms would take fat away from him. Well, they'll get fat while they're eating all his fat. No. No, I mean, literally, I was at Chili's two nights ago drinking margaritas, pounding them. And my liver started hurting, I think. I'm worried. Point directly to where the pain was. Uh, yeah, that's not your liver. Yeah, no, that's your. That's closer to. It's probably the beginning of Montez, a heart attack. Get my back. Actually, it's. It's your baby kicking. Hey, I, <laughs> don't bring me in this, man. William, I mean, what is going on there? What have you been doing? It's getting massively bigger. I see you every week, and there, it's only that part too. It's not like your face or your arms. You know what I mean? Like red band gets thick all over his entire body. Mostly like, my thighs. Like you, no, you like just, what did you just fucking say? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly your thighs. I'm sorry, you have weak thighs. That's why you're up here. You're funny. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What was that? He got you. He just got you with a compliment. <laughs> that was weird. William Montgomery, we absolutely love you. He d he's on the show every week. There he is. Another <laughs> brand new minute from William Montgomery. Now. I will have you know, William, can you set the mic stand up all the way properly and everything instead of just leaving it like a, like a, like a hand model? <laughs> there Look at that hand. Look at those. Absolutely. There he goes. All right. It's the great William Montgomery, everybody. Here comes William Montgomery. Let's give it up for Thanksgiving America! Let's give it up for the Pilgrim's Pride! Let's give it up for Indians! Uh, so he's not the best funeral director, but he's a hell of a puppeteer. 
I don't know what the punchline to that one is yet. <laughs> Thought it was going to get way more laughter. That scares me a little bit. Um, so I've been researching wormholes lately. Uh, I have a bunch of them in my backyard. Ma'am, is your birthday November 17th? Her birthday's November 17th, y'all. I've recently discovered I have ability... Sir, is your uh, birthday October 31st? His birthday's October 31st, y'all. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow, what was that? That's my brother's here, Vance. Why did Vance. you... Vance Montgomery from the Vance, you're a lawyer in Memphis. You're overshadowing me. Why why are you doing this? You know our parents watch this. My goodness. Okay, William Montgomery, everybody. There's a new set from William. Was that produced? Did you have that did you ask that guy to do yeah, that? Yeah, my brother Vance is here. Wow, that's incredible. He's the overweight guy in the back with diabetes, you piece of shit. Oh my goodness. I also think he has strep throat, you piece of shit. Wow. He also has herpes, you piece of shit. Wow. Well, a lot of anger towards your He also brother. has dinky fever, you piece of shit. Why'd you go to Africa, dude? Oh, my goodness. William, a lot of anger towards your brother. Yeah, he said, why did he yell that at me? I don't know. This was going to be my best set of the night, and that piece of shit yells at me. Wow, sibling trouble. I haven't seen anything like this since Kyle Gridley called his sister. <laughs> oh, <goodness>. Too soon. <laughs> so, William, how's life going? You're wearing a camo shirt. You have camo Crocs on. This is, uh, this is a look. Really keeping I, the chicks away. What'd you, what'd you just say? <laughs> no, I literally didn't hear you. What'd you say? It didn't go the way I planned when I said it. Don't worry about it. It's not that good. So I'm really excited. I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Uh, That's exciting. What are you going to do in Vegas? Thanksgiving, going to Cracker Barrel on Thursday. <laughs> wow. In uh, Vegas? In Vegas, doing some acid. I hope it's better than the last time I did acid in Vegas. Uh, I freaked out. I did discover a great musical artist, uh, Les Baxter. He does oh, yeah, wow. good jungle music. Someone knows who Les Baxter is out there. <laughs> One guy. Wow. So that's exciting. Who are you going to Vegas with? Going with the lady friend. Ooh. Who yeah. is currently not pregnant. Whoa. Nice. She's not pregnant. Yeah. Right. Currently not pregnant. She was uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> We had to go to the had to go to the Rite Aid. Had to get another Plan B. It's the fifth time we've had to do that in as many months. It's turning into a nightmare. Well, have you thought about using protection of any kind? I don't like how it feels on my penis. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. That's called Plan Y. <laughs> huh. you, you know, you could just take five birth control pills, and it equals one Plan B. It's what cheaper. are you talking about? Certs, you piece of shit. No, no. <laughs> Trigler. Don't mess this up. This is probably one of my best sets, and you mentioned that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, if she has an old birth control laying around, you could take five of okay, them. Okay, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just completely not true. That is just <laughs> not... Be. That is not... Yeah, science. I mean, what are you talking about? Tit tax? No. Uh, so, William... <laughs> it, it, this is really interesting because this is this seems to be a running storyline with you that you keep, or do you think she keeps getting pregnant, or does she keep getting? Uh oh, is he winking at the audience? Oh, we've seen this before. It for some reason always works. Uh, the crowd gets worked up into a. Hold frenzy. on, sir. Is your birthday March twenty six? <laughs> yep. Thank no, you. Said, that I've, guy, that I've... guy. That guy said no, and that girl said no, and then this guy laughed and said yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Has that ever has 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 that ever worked? For it you? always works. It works. At the Chili's, uh, I'm a bartender at Chili's. You're bartending I'm, now. Yeah, I'm bartending now. Let's really? give it up for Chili's, the neighborhood bar and grill. 
So what's, your, what's your favorite drink to make? Uh, I think I like eating fajitas. Oh, very good answer. Very good answer. <laughs> Big fajitas guy. They sizzle uh, coming out. Why are you trying to mess this up, Red Band? Uh, Spot on. Because, you know, I want to call you out once in a while. Okay, thank you. You, you know? I think, like, as a friend, I should. Oh, yeah. So you don't like wearing protection, but have you thought of pulling out? Good uh, question. The first time we had to take a plan B, I was drunk on Four Locos, and I wasn't able to, and it turned into sort of a cat and mouse game. It turned into a, what's that game called where you try to sink the battleships? Battleship. <laughs> battleship. It turned into a game of... Of battleship, if you will. Let's just say my cruiser was on A4, and she guessed C2, and it wasn't, and we ended up at the clinic together, and <laughs> it was discovered I had strep throat. Uh, this is actual sounds from your game of battleship that you played. All right, William. Well, uh, anything else for uh, for William, guys? Any uh, this is your guys' first time seeing? What's William? my favorite uh, candy William. bar? Butterfinger. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Somebody asked me what my favorite candy bar was. Oh, someone in the audience? Yeah, somebody. <laughs> oh wow! You just gave this guy the evil eyes. Cause I'm just afraid to look at you right now. What is your birthday? April thirteenth. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. <laughs> he said no. He looked right at you and said no and shook his head. All right. Julia. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there you. he goes. On to the next one and only. William Montgomery, everybody. There he is. Here he comes. He's, he's here. He's wearing clothes. He's got a smile on his face. Come on, guys. It's William Montgomery. Make some noise for him. You're here at Kill Yeah, Tony. what the fuck is going on? I make $30,000 a year in this economy. Welcome to Chili's. <laughs> I'm excited to be here tonight with Andrew Santino. He's my uh, half-brother. We're both from a deep-water port in Maine. We both got herpes together three years ago. Want to give it up for Dan Soder. He's my second cousin once removed. Uh, we worked at a Chili's together, got herpes in the bathroom. <laughs> Supply and demand. That's what Dan would always, that was a joke he would say. <laughs> Red Band, why'd you tell me to say that one? I'm People always ask me, William, how uh, can you still go down into caves after last year? And I'm just like, what are you talking about? I was trapped in a Sam's Club for six hours, couldn't find my dad last year. <laughs> William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just put it at that. No real sign off there. This is a. Uh, that was probably my best set. Yeah, you completely reset the tone of the room. We were struggling there for a bit, and you came in and uh, really. <laughs> probably my best set. I had a great time in Las Vegas. I was there for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, you changed the dynamic of the room completely. Uh, I ate at a restaurant called Cracker Barrel, got the chicken and dumplings and three sides of fried okra. William, how's it going, buddy? Over here, pal. <laughs> okay? He's still trying to make up for whatever <laughs> happened during that set. No, that was great. You actually got laughs throughout your entire set. It was an interesting approach. Uh, Dan, get back. my back on this one. Oh. Dude, totally. Supply and demand, my man. Yeah, that's what he used to say. <laughs> Do you remember when Rick would schedule me on doubles? And you'd be like, fucking, you got the Yeah, what, a now. Dave's double? And yeah. the lady would be like, yeah, this is Wendy's. Thanks so much. You want a Dave's double? I feel like you could convince someone <laughs> to murder somebody. <laughs> like, you'd it's be the guy you're like, Vegas, you should fucking I, do it. And you'd be like, I'm going to fucking I do never it. went to any casinos for four days. There was actually a forensic files marathon going on on uh, Discovery ID. Watch that for four days. Wow. That's the only... That's the only marathon that you're prepared for, it seems. Um, so, William, uh, welcome William. to the show. He writes Sorry. and performs a new minute every week. Now, during that set, I noticed that <laughs> you made both Andrew and Dan, during both of your histories with them, you caught herpes twice? Twice, yeah. 
Dude, Twice. Y- Y'all should fucks. see my penis right now. Yeah, what does it look like? It's purplish. Oh, my goodness. Does it, I feel like it looks like Edward James Olmos' face. <laughs> Just dented up. James Olmos is my father, actually, so it's fun you uh, brought that up. Why'd you tell me to say that, Andrew? You know, you know I didn't tell you to say that. Did you, uh, did you have any... William uh, is that guy. William is like... Uh, We'll find out in about two decades yeah. that like he invented Velcro. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. he does guy. have a he has obscure weird billionaire energy. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, Like this is just him being like, "Fuck it." Yeah, he goes, "All right, suck my dick, audience. I turned sugar into fuel." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I didn't invent velvet. I invented Velcro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's it, what I, I mean, it. man. Uh, it's and you guys you never heard of Velcro? <laughs> Yeah, then he drives to a helipad and takes a helicopter home. Hey, Santino, is this yep. what happens to you when we feed you after midnight? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny Mencino, as uh, per usual, every episode that he's been on at this point, he's eating some baked ziti over there. Uh, it says trademark to eat some type of pasta food. Jeremiah, what'd you just say? <laughs> William, did you have any uh, pregnancy scares this weekend in Vegas? I know you like to fuck when you go out there. You could say that I brought up the herpes thing because last night uh, finally had relations again. My ejaculate hurt her vagina. I'm almost 90% sure I'm STD free. I don't know that for a fact. Uh, Was it Monica Lewinsky? Who says relations? Who's Monica Lewinsky? William, over here. Over here, William. William, Wait, William. Did William. you say your cum hurt this woman? Yeah. It, like burned her? Did you I don't out? know what to think about that. William, stick with me here. Did you come inside of her? Yes. Why yeah. do you keep doing that with this girl? Every week you keep Because talk- it feels better. <laughs> okay. I don't give a fuck anymore. I invented Velcro. <laughs> there it is. Got that money to fall back yeah. on. So, William... <laughs> Are you really coming inside of this girl? You. I have done. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I have been. She's now on birth control. I feel like it's probably all right. And then all, all of a sudden, last night, she said that it hurt? Yeah. Like a spicy hurt or like a minty hurt? The birth like, control is she calls me up, I punch her in the stomach, and then leave. All right. <laughs> Vinny Mencino. He punched her literally in the stomach last night. I was laying on the bed, breathless, uh, trying to catch my breath, just saying, Jeremiah, why'd you punch her? Is that the reason this is going on? Tony, I'm just excited. This, I think, is my best set. Yeah, it definitely is. I got uh, an extra year contract on Kill Tony, so you pieces of shit better just buckle down. And get used to this shit, because I'm That's horribly on edge now. I've had enough. Yes. That is how we do it. We do sign the regulars to long-term contracts. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that type Fuck of behind-the-scenes stuff. But, I haven't uh, signed it William's yet, but... like a farmer that runs for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I'm going to start running things a little different you around actually here. Have... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, literally, I was running for uh, county alderman. One of my policies... <laughs> uh, just trying to get elephants out of zoos. Pachyderms, more like pack your bags. We don't need your germs. Wow. Okay. You got, you got my vote. Let's lower the sidewalks to the size of the. <sighs> We're still working on some of the campaign. I'm working on a lot of the campaign. <laughs> wow. You... William, any other big breakthroughs in your uh, life or career this week? After you texted my father, Larry, I got a doctor's appointment. Hey, uh, today. look at that. So yeah. you texted my dad. He's worried about my health. I this do is, let, me, let, me, let me explain this part so that it doesn't get fucking all clustered up and talked about like it's some goddamn county alderman pitch or something like that. I actually texted because uh, I got a lot of messages in the past, I don't know, seven months about uh, <laughs> the progression of William's gut, which he's purposefully covering up throughout this show. Um, because a lot of literally medical professional doctors have contacted me. This isn't fat. This is something wrong with my kidneys. I have a six pack right now, but beneath it is fat. And when's the last time you saw an actual doctor, William? 
God, 16 years ago, I was with Andrew okay, in Maine. No, 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 no. But in real no, life. No, that is true. We were in Maine together. In real life, ago. though, when's the last time you saw a doctor? Real answer here. God, probably saw her six years ago. Six just a years general ago. practitioner. And back then, six years ago, you were in uh, athletic shape. Tip top shape. I was a state champion cyclist. I was winning triathlons. Heck yeah. It's actually true. Yeah. Is it really? totally yeah. true. Yeah, it really is. I yeah. used to shave my legs. I used to go to help the with bathroom. the aerodynamics of bicycling. Dude, so to. wait, you used to do all that, and now you look like Thor after Thanos won? <laughs> <laughs> That's not wrong. You were a, you were in shape. Somebody get my back. When's this doctor's appointment scheduled for? Do you know? Next week. Next week, like this week or the week after this Next week? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. So That's not right. in two days, but in nine days. Nine days. I, one of the big reasons I'm doing it, Andrew, he's like, man, I really want to get you on my podcast, but yeah. you've got to lose a little weight. That was one of the requirements. Heck yeah. That was the one requirement. What a brilliant, actually, yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. You're you, brilliant. I had Eric Griffin on today, but I think he just uh, he oh. lost a couple of pounds. Do you yeah. do weigh-ins? Indeed. Yeah, I do weigh-ins before the show. Do they have to flex? Do I got to yeah. do that on Wednesday? I make everybody take their clothes off, do a little flex, a little photo shoot, yeah. and then we start the cast. So <laughs> come on over, bud. Well, Get rid of that gut, and we'll do the cast. There you go. There it is. Whiskey ginger meat risky ginger. Uh, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just how much, super William, how much do you weigh right now? I'd guess 210. What's your target? <laughs> What's your target? What do we want Target's to 170. Impossible. <laughs> That's impossible. Let's be real. Let's do one eighty. Do you still cycle? I have my bike here. I have my trainer here. I could get on it, and and y'all, I'll be. Could you get super hot by May? I'll be very Dan. Please shut the fuck up. I'll be. <laughs> oh boy. Just Uh-oh. very honest. One well, of the reasons yeah. I'm it's thinking about getting super fit. I've been asked to be involved uh, with that show up in New York. What's that called again with the clown that gets people off with the Shepherds? Showtime at the Apollo. They told me if I could lose 40 pounds. Okie dokie. Uh, well, William, you did it again here this week. I'm excited to have you on next week's episode where we're gonna, going to get to find out a brand new minute. And uh, is there anything else you want to say to this audience before you go? Uh, I stole two of those jokes tonight from a guy named Richard Nestle. He's a big <laughs> Auburn fan. Okie dokie. Okay. <laughs> William yeah. Montgomery. I'm Here he is. In the flesh. Daylight, come and me one go home. Dude, shut the fuck up. So I've uh, I've been wearing scrubs a bunch recently. You know, people think you're a doctor, but I hate being in the grocery store. Just having to tell people, no, I can't fix your arm. <laughs> Are these $5 bills? Because I've got a bunch of them in my fucking wallet right now. That's my father at Disney World in 2002 looking for my mom. One last, one last sort of pearl of wisdom for y'all. I've become sort of a motivational speaker. Um, the thing about baseball, there's always a chance. <laughs> William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. So nice to be here, y'all. I've been in Phoenix the past two weeks. Let's give it up for Phoenix! Why would they give it up for here in Los Angeles, William? How many of y'all ever climbed up a ladder? Yeah. I'm in construction now. You are? I climb up ladders now. You do? You ever climbed up a 30-step ladder? No. 
Neither have I. It uh-huh. scares me to death. Wow. A lot of energy coming from you today, William. Yeah, I have something called tunnel vision, Tony. You do? How'd you get that? Watching Jaws the Revenge too many times. <laughs> Where have you? Why, why have you been watching it? Let's give it up for sharks, y'all! Let's give it up for Pensacola Beach, Florida, y'all! Y'all ever been on the Atlantic? <laughs> y'all ever eaten at Joe's Crab Shack? Wow, place good. Well, you... I love that! I'm allergic to shellfish! <laughs> oh, Tony... Yeah. We Turn in... that shit off, Red Man. We were in San Diego this Friday with William, and he came out and he said, What's up, San Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> and he said it was on purpose, but I think he forgot. <laughs> Let's hear it for the Spurs, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many y'all ever watched it got him, but let's give it up, San Antonio! Wow. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow. This you... is my best set I've ever fucking had. <laughs> and we have Osama Bin Laden fucking my shit up. I don't like Muslims. I believe in Jesus. Whoa, wow. Very controversial. Very, very controversial statement there. I'll be quite frank. I would rather play Chinese checkers versus reading the Quran. I think a lot of people would actually probably prefer that, to be honest. I live in the sewers! What? what? Off Alexander! It's really cold down there this time of year. I'm... Really hoping my daughter will be able to meet me for the first time in two weeks at the Memphis Children's Museum. I'm a little worried she will not be able to meet me. I have something called dyslexia. I have a hard time reading books, reading magazine. Reading magazine? What the fuck did you just say? Whoa. I got a lot riding on this! Piece of shit! My goodness, William. What's riding on this? What's, what's so different about this episode than every other week? Some man from AOL, that company, reached out to me you two weeks mad. ago said, I want you to be our main spokesperson on our commercials. I was like, what do you mean AOL? I thought that was defunct. He was like, no, not really. We have a side project uh, called Zorro 2. It's a new Zorro movie coming out. (laughs) He was like, I really want you to just sort of be the spokesperson at that point in time. I was down in Pensacola Beach, Florida. I was watching Jaws the Revenge a bunch. Let's check in with Feminist Stacy over here. I just never liked AOL as a company. Why can't it be You've Got Female? Wow, real feminist. That's a feminist joke there. Or You've Got Cyber Sex. I used to cyber sex. You did? With the best of them, my, my... My name was Pat106 at AOL.com. I was on the gay chat rooms. Oh, yeah? What kinds of things would you say in the gay chat rooms, William? I would say, Michael, meet me in the (laughs) cul-de-sac in two hours. Please, our conversation is making me hot. I don't know what to do. I'm watching the movie Congo right now. I knew Why you aren't you laughing, you son of a bitch? Wow. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> a, seems to be like you've got a new fucking little slogan. Is this your new get her done? Shut the fuck up? Just turn on audience members? 
Uh, William, William, I'll just be quite frank, Tony. Yeah. When a Muslim person is talking oh, shit to oh me, my God. it makes my skin crawl. All right, all right. Wait, wait, when did when did this Muslim thing become a new situation? This is the first Probably time. Probably two we... years ago, I I was a a subscriber to Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> I was reading a bunch, and I got to the M Encyclopedia. And I started reading up on Muslim folk, if you want to call them that. What would you call them? What do you call them? I call them, hey, Michael Spencer, if that's actually your name, are you actually going to meet me in the cul-de-sac tonight? Oh, Jesus. Did you ever meet any of these guys in the cul-de-sac? Did you ever uh, actually end up hooking up with a yeah. with a guy from the chat rooms? A na- a man named Andrew Michael. He had something, if you want to call it what I'm about to call it, just a guy without feet. <laughs> so wait, he just had he had calves, and it, like he just it just ended at his ankle. He was born with a condition, not dissimilar to the condition I was born with something called hammer toe (laughs) but he was born with that and he got on AOL and he was Michael Ryan 864 Zorro wow you're just you're combining all the things that you said at AOL.com and I was talking to him Pat 106 at AOL.com Things got hot and heavy. My mother, Frances, was worried just sort of about the dialogue that was occurring. We were talking about sex. We were talking about you name it. All right. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Another new minute from William. It looks like only I got the wink tonight. He just winked directly at me. The famous William Montgomery Wink. There he goes. William Montgomery. Here he is. What's going to happen tonight? Big pop from the crowd. Oh, yeah. He's great. Nice to be here tonight, BT. Uh, But seriously, first and foremost, I'd like to give a moment of silence to my brother, J.C. Penny. He was recently diagnosed with hoof and mouth disease. I I shit my pants the other day. Luckily, I was at home. Uh, Last night, however, I wasn't so lucky. Hey, Teresa, what happened to my dungarees? Uh, If I have a little girl, I would like her to get involved in beauty pageants. I feel like best ages for that are three to five, just because you can really dress them up how you want, really get them in the right poses. Fuck yeah, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, money. William Montgomery, a very uh, fun set tonight. Teresa, you... how are you? Oh, he's saying hi to someone in the crowd. Teresa, how are you? He's looking at a woman who seems confused right now. No surprise there. William, how are you? I'm over here. William. I am pretty good. I'm hey. going back to Memphis uh, next week for Christmas. I'm going to miss the 420 show. Oh, you are. This is how you tell me That's that, That's a huh? bad idea, William. Yeah, that is. Red a... being what? That's a really bad idea. You heard me the first time. Wow. I have to miss a show. Hmm. My goodness. Careers, uh, so, careers, William, careers. I can't be here. Uh, <laughs> what the... Uh... That Wait, sums it up, guys. My brother's sick. Is your brother sick? What's he, he sick? He has hoof and mouth disease. Oh, my God. I don't know if I believe that for a second. He I... was kissing horses down in Mississippi outside of Jackson. I told him not to. He has all these scars on his face now. It looks like Edward Scissorhand. 
Ah, oh, that's a good reference. You looked at Theo when you said that. You always try to impress the guest. You always try to... Theo, see... what did you think about that one? It's, I felt like it started off good, and then I felt like you didn't, you didn't know. Even you got lost in it at the end. <laughs> but I thought it was okay. I, I'm excited. All of y'all are here tonight. Theo and I were talking before the show earlier. I'm about to become his opener for his uh, Phoenix, Arizona show. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Did you just invite yourself to open for Theo? Super excited, super sweet you did that. (laughs) William. Yeah, I was going to invite you next week at the 420 show, man. Uh... (laughs) William, this is very interesting. I can't be here next week. Oh, we had no idea. That's a show. I have a That's really when the sick will be brother. Here. Okay, William, uh, what's been going on in your normal life this week? His brother died, dude. No, he's still alive. He has hoof My and bad. mouth disease. Well, he'll die soon, probably. William, William, it seems like you're ignoring me a lot this week. Uh, is everything I'm okay? I'm sorry, I've been drinking Listerine. Are you mad at me? <laughs> Seems like you might be a little bit mad at me since I texted your father that you have to see a doctor. You did, and I think Larry watches all of this. I lied to him telling him I got a doctor's appointment. I didn't. I don't know how Aetna Healthcare works. Wait, you didn't get I a doctor's need, appointment? You were I lied about it. Sub- I need to get one. You lied to all of us. You said that it was this Wednesday. Oh, that is Christmas. No, that's a... When this oh, is yeah, that's this Wednesday is Christmas. Red Band stop. I you mean, stop. my goodness. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. This is one of my better sets. <laughs> it seems like you say that. And a then lot. you throw a fucking wrench in it. Why is a Muslim person not up front? Oh my goodness. What is that supposed to be? That was my mean? best set last week. Oh, okay. That's right, man. You gotta front load this place with some fucking decent slims, baby. You that's feel right. me? Absolutely. <laughs> Why'd you lie to us though? Yeah, where's Richard Slim? Yeah. Is he Muslim? <laughs> He's Muslim. He's from uh, Qatar. He's a gasoline worker. at A, a si- gasoline worker? <laughs> what the fuck, bill? William? That is so on the nose for a, a gasoline worker. Not even oil. He doesn't hear too good. He's a big reader. He reads a lot of Shel Silverstein. A lot of light in the attic, a lot of where the sidewalk ends. Yeah, we've been talking online. I'm going to be in Qatar next week. I let was me, lying. Let me ask you this. If you were going to open up uh, for Theo in Phoenix, uh, can you give us an example of what your opening line would be? What Theo, you would can up? I give you my... William, begin- William, William. I don't know if you're paying any attention here tonight. Maybe the drinking starts a little bit earlier every week with you. Uh, <laughs> Let me ask you this. If you were going to open up for Theo in Phoenix, what would be your opening line to the crowd in Phoenix? So I'm the opener. You're the feature. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery, everybody. I'm going to hand for William. Let's give it up for the Padres San Antonio. <laughs> That's a different city, William. That's, the Padres are, are, are... Theo, here, this is probably my bread. <laughs> this, is, this is my bread and butter. It's a Christmas-themed joke. I know I've said it before. <laughs> but Theo, I think after this one, you're going to think, oh, oh my God, he's going to open up for me. I, uh, I, li- a, I like this joke, and it is holiday themed, and you're not going to be here. Christmas themed. I've, I've got a whistling album coming out in a couple weeks. It's about what it sounds like. Just my brother and me whistling songs like Jingle Bells the night before Christmas. Where'd the cookies go? Smells like dad's been down here. Who put so many logs on the fire? Why does he have to drink so much? Get behind the sofa, he'll see you. Who's he yelling at? Oh my God, what has happened? Stop saying that, get behind the sofa. He's staring right at you. How doesn't he see you? With classics like it under the porch, I hear his truck coming up the driveway. Please eat it, he'll just get more mad if you don't. And it's not a ghost in the closet. It's just dad. There you go. How about now? He wants to... How about now? <laughs> Still no. This is the, one of the weirder things you do, William, is put people on the spot like this. That's going to open up for them. I like it, but I still... I'm just... Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> but what do I, I have it. to do? 
Huh? What do I have to do? That's a good question. I don't know. You always, like, I don't know, man. <laughs> you always just start talking to me real fast whenever you're drunk and it gets on my nerves. Hey, there's a little honesty for you. Ooh, Jeremiah's clapping. You know what I'm talking about, Jeremiah? They have a weird relationship. Yes. Or Jerry? Hey, Theo. Yeah. Do you eat certs? Yeah, but I've had a decent amount in my time. Me too. I don't know, bro. Okie dokie. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Another brand new minute from William Montgomery, everybody. Wow, look at this guy. He's back, everyone. William Montgomery. It's good up for Larry Montgomery, my dad. Why'd you fuck that up? You piece of shit. No, but seriously, you all's uh, excited about Stargate Atlantis Season 5 coming out tomorrow. Uh, I would like to first and foremost thank Richard and Stephen Jarmones of uh, the Fantastic Sam's in Memphis, Tennessee. They not only gave me hell of a haircut, but also hell of a life lesson. Uh, there will always be a bomb in the bomb maker's home. They're big fans of the movie Speed. Uh, I would also like to give a moment of silence to Kathy, the owl lady of Barnum and Bailey's. Uh, she taught me how to fly last week, sadly three nights ago. Uh, she jumped off the roof of her house trying to fly and, and died. <laughs> All right, another, that's as William Montgomery as it gets. Make some noise for William, everybody. A new minute. Now, let me just... If I, if I could say one thing, the man who was up here, he literally is related to me a couple of Christmases ago. He touched my penis. No, he didn't, William. No, he does this. I'm sorry, guys. He does this every week. He comes up here and he lies. That man lives in England. He did not touch your penis, William, and he's not related to you. We were. You always say this. We know your parents. I was on Abbey Road three years ago with that man in a taxi. He started touching my penis. I had to tell him. No. Oh, I'm upset. That's my day. <laughs> Why would you say it like that? Because I grew up. Uh, next to Abbey Road in some apartments. <laughs> what? We never knew this about you. My rent was 650 uh, quid. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. They don't even have quid in England. Which equals out to... Uh, what are those suckers that have the Tootsie Rolls in the middle? They were called Tootsie, Tootsie Pops. Pops. Tootsie Pops, yeah. 650... Uh, Quid comes out to three Tootsie Pops. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right. William, you, you are much, believe it or not, this is your first time seeing William. Let me tell you, this is the, about the cleanest cut William Montgomery we've wow. ever seen. I know a lot of you are thinking, who is this trucker pig? But uh, this is the best version of him we've ever seen. I thought he came from a wedding. Just picture maybe a cut scene, me and Red Band literally in a cab of an 18-wheeler just going through the parking lots, finding women prostitutes, poisoning them, cutting them with our knives. Red Band looking at me, asking me, William, hold on, get the map out. Where are we? Wow. It wasn't a map, though. Red Band, don't fuck this up. This is the best <laughs> set I fucking had. <laughs> William, so welcome Can back. I get something off my chest? Uh, oh, gosh. That looks like the only place where you don't have something hidden. <laughs> All right. Literally, I don't, I don't know if it was two or three months ago, I was with a red band in the bathroom of a Wendy's. We were swapping pills, swapping, you name it, we were swapping it. Why are you talking about this right now? <laughs> so, William, you, you just went home. Can you tell us some real things that happened in your real life? 
Can you get real with us for a second? You were just home with uh, Larry and Francis Montgomery, who we know who have been on this show. Very sweet parents you have. We don't know how this demon seed came to be. But because they're just lovely, honest humans. And they Hold say, on, sir. Is your birthday March 6th? Wait a second. Yes, it's March. <laughs> he didn't say yes, William. He actually didn't say yes at all. No, but back home was fun. Uh, I got two pairs of Levi's jeans. I don't know if y'all wear the 505s. I'm currently a 36, 32. Are you really? Uh, 36, 32. Red Bean, why'd you fucking put that on? (laughs) William, can I be honest with you? It does seem like you are gaining weight in the middle area of your body and your face. Like, at a very fast rate. Have you noticed this? That there's Have you ever heard of the cookie? It has one of the delicacies. It's a, a, called a prune. Um, in the middle of it, it has cookie outer sides. Do you all know that cookie? Fig Newton. Fig Newtons. I've been eating Fig Newtons like it's my fucking job. Ew. Oh I forgot God. how to fucking swim. Tony? Oh, my God. Tony, when William was in Memphis, me and David Lucas prank called him on a podcast, and uh, we, we pranked his mom. I don't know if you it want to hear really a quick bad. clip of that. Wow. No, no. What, what happened there? Before I get into that, it is so nice looking at y'all. Y'all are so sweet He's looking to invite at me and Louis to Jacobins. the Skank Fest South. Thank y'all so much. It's a big announcement. William, they didn't invite you. They literally didn't invite you. That, it, that, it, that didn't happen at any point of, of this show. Last year, you had an opportunity. That was perfect, Red Band. Last year, you had an opportunity to get flown out to Skankfest. Louis J. gave you a chance, and you got beat by a handicapped Asian man. Remember that? What was the game? It was a joke off, and William went with his best joke, but then the handicapped guy like, came up I, uh, and he was like, I like it when my mom goes out of TV. town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. There it is. There's the joke. But these people, how many of you have heard him say that joke before? You don't raise hands. You clap hands when you're at a live comedy venue person back there. Yeah, where are we? Saudi Arabia? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, but yeah, Tony, seriously, it's sort of a hard thing to think about. After he beat me, I started eating those candy bars that have the sort of buttery thing the butter fingers started eating those <laughs> a whole bunch thing. now i know you're fucking with us a little started bit. eating a bunch of nestle crunches started drinking some water but i what just happened all right Is william it... william it was steve lee cut the mic i don't know what's going on jeremiah what are you doing exactly is this, is this back on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, his mic went oh. off. Oh, that was that Just mic. Just trying to fill those dead spots, Kat. Well, the whole, the whole reason when that happened. When I was back is... home in Memphis, I had a bit of an identity crisis, if you want to call it that. I was playing something called the Ouija board. I was talking to my deceased grandmother, B. Vance, she was telling me, start losing weight, learn how to swim, learn how to read, get okay. into a technical college. Okie dokie, William. Uh, we're going we're gonna to end it there. Did you listen to anything that your aunt told you on the Ouija board? I did. I now chew a, a brand of bubblegum called Big Leech. Okay, all right, William. All right. Uh, we love you. you. That was another new minute, a long interview. We got through it nice again. William see. Montgomery, everybody. He's back. We didn't have him on last week. He went back home. You wouldn't have, you, we found out nothing about his trip back home. Maybe we'll hear more about that next week. I believe this guy holds one of the records for being the longest standing regular ever in the history of the show. Very unorthodox style. A lot of people love him. A lot of people hate him. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for one of my favorites. It's William Montgomery. Here he is. Here he is. Live in the flesh. The one, the only, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Let's give it up for Jimmy Buffett, Atlanta. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows. Uh, it's funny how we can assassinate an Iranian general, but we can't find out where Carmen San Diego is. I think she's Filipino. I'm a big fan of the Power Rangers, only when they don't have their costumes on. What are those people? Filipino? They look Asian, but they have Hispanic names. I don't get it. I've been going to a bunch of gay bars recently. I'm looking for my father. Wow. William Montgomery showing the difference. Yeah. Crowd goes wild. And, you know... That's, that's not easy to do. A new minute Can every Can I week. let y'all in on a little secret? Oh, yes. It's not about to be a secret anymore. There is a product on our market called bubble gum. It's something you chew. You can blow bubbles. I was with my cousin Taylor two years ago. He gave me a piece. And I was like, Taylor, what is this stuff? I'm hungry. What do I keep chewing it? I don't get it. He was like, William, put your tongue in it. Try and blow a bubble. I did. It got all over my face. (laughs) Wow. That is impressive. Who the fuck threw that? Wait, what happened? What what did they throw? Oh, someone's throwing gum at you. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a... Do you know Let's that guy? Let's give it up for Robert Martinez. He looks Asian, wow. but he's Filipino, I guess. William, did you just find out this week of what Filipino people are? I did. I've been working still at the stores unit place. Somebody got a 10 by 20. That's a high price item at the stores unit place. They burned me, if you want to call it that. Yeah. How did they do that? How did they Uh, got the dollar special moved out in five days? I put my name on the line. My boss said, William, why are you allowing this to happen? Why? Why? Why did you let it happen? I was. Red Band, I think that's a fun song. Do you actually want to put on? um, No, it's okay. We don't. You don't need to take requests right now. It's okay. Jimmy Buffett's Volcano. Why would, why would he do that? What would happen if he played that song exactly? What do you think would Red happen? Redman, can you put on Volcano is by Jimmy Buffett? Is there something that you have planned for this? There is. Okay, here he goes. Oh, he's bouncing around a little bit. Uh-oh, what's he going to do? He's looking at the audience. Perhaps planning some of those famous winks that he gives out or something. Nope, not much. Just stalling for time. Really? Uh, my guess is he has less than nothing planned for this. Oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh oh. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's singing. I don't know. Oh, he's singing. I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Someone did karaoke with Filipino people this weekend. I don't know where I'm going to go when the volcano blows. All right. Okie dokie. William, always fun. Uh, Is there anything else we need to know about you before we let you go? Look at my arm, Tony. Yeah, you got blood work taken. I know. I got blood work taken today by an Armenian lady. Oh, wow. I don't trust them. They look... Hispanic, but they speak in an Eastern European dialect. I don't know if you've seen Speed 2. Very similar to the bad guys in Speed. Tony, here's my point. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Heart to heart and Holtzman. Me and you, you've been a a crusader. You've been just a, a guy behind my back three years ago I got me too'd they found out I was kissing bitches in the Chili's parking lot I had sex with a couple of girls who were passed out I don't give a shit wait, anymore what? wait what wait a second wait, what, what? what do you wait what do you mean you had sex with people that were passed out 
There was some Filipino Oh, bitch. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. William Montgomery. I opened up her butthole. Oh. I put my penis inside of it. Oh my God. I was chewing bubble gum. Okay. My cousin right. Taylor. I see what's going on here. You're just going through all My the- cousin Taylor was present. He had a taser gun. He tasered me. I didn't give a shit. I was living on the edge at that time. There you go. Literally and figuratively, I was climbing mountains. Absolutely. I'll pay for the next date. Hey, look at that. I think Brian, I think Holtzman just offered to buy you a prostitute. How do you feel, William? Y'all don't repeat this. I just pray to God she's African-American. I. Oh, why is that? Why is that? Why do you pray that she's African-American? I grew up in Memphis loving 3-6 Mafia. There was an artist, female artist, named LaChat, who I was really into. I was watching her videos with my other cousin, Andrew. We were all on the internet. We Uh were all on, you name it, we were on it. We were on Poplar Avenue. We were in our... All right. Okay, William. Uh, William? William, are you okay? (laughs) Tony, I'm just so worried about on the 16th, my doctor's appointment for my blood test. I know, and you're not allowed to cancel it either. You're not allowed to cancel it, and you have to go through with it. If you don't go through with it, we're not having you back on the show until you get a physical. Tony, don't repeat this, Tony. William, you don't repeat this. I've been texting with your father about your health. What You're the only Mary person said. I've ever seen gain five pounds every week. So I think there's something wrong with you. And so does your father. And so does actually everybody close to you. How many of you are concerned about William's health? Come on, people. Make some fucking noise. <laughs> and, and do you all think I can reverse it? Yes. Yes, you can. And, and how do uh, some of the other comedians feel that that got a better response in your set tonight? <laughs> Hey, Jeremiah, can you say that a tad bit slower, please? I have something called... uh, What is that thing called? called Diverticulitis. 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 Lupus. Holtzman, get my back on this one. What is that thing called where you have an inner ear problem? Tendinitis. Vertigo. Vertigo. I've had vertigo for... Columbia. Columbia. What is that? Columbia. Columbia. All right, there he goes, William Montgomery. Woo! I'm crazy for He has to write and perform a new minute every week. Ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. Uh, first and foremost, I want to apologize to my Filipino brothers and sisters for opening up my set last week with Jimmy Buffett's Volcano because I can't help but think I'm part of the reason... The caldera went off. Uh, Anyway, who's got plans for the fourth? So people always say the book is better than the movie, but how many of y'all have ever read Mortal Kombat? Uh, I love how every black guy on the first 48 who dies always says he's a rapper. (laughs) No, let me rephrase that. I love how every black guy who dies on the first 48 was an aspiring rapper. (laughs) Absolutely doodly. And by the way, that is true. Last week, you talked a lot about Filipinos and volcanoes, and then this week, a massive volcano went off in the Philippines. So there's starting to be a little... I have blood on my hands. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll be the first to say in 1996, when that value jet went down in the Everglades... I had blood on my hands then. Why? You wrote a joke about that the week before I it happened? I predicted that. Yeah, I had a peanut allergy. Oh, you did. Starting to sound like Bob Hope, dude. No one knows fucking Bob, <laughs> Bob Hope. 
Again, get back to your uh, hard references bingo cards on this one. You know the joke I didn't say? But it was sort of geared towards you. Oh. Oh, boy. Is that a CVS receipt? It's a CVS receipt (laughs) for something called Preparation H. I put it on my toes. I have something, if you want to call it scaly skin, yeah, I have that. I have it around my butthole. Okay. I have it around my toes. All right. Very good. You got an applause break by Red Band because you said butthole. Well, Very good. Well, was that the joke that you wanted to do, William, or did you just go off on is. a little tangent Here there? Here comes the joke. And, Polly, I'll be quite frank. Growing up, my father had a disease or whatever you want to call it, a, a thing that was wrong with him where... He would drink apple juice and not be able to drink it, and it would come out of his mouth. But the first time I saw that, we were watching Encino Man. What's the joke you wanted to do? Oh, yeah, so here's the joke. Uh, a lot of people look down on Pauly Shore, but that's impossible. He's not in hell yet. <laughs> Polly's getting up and giving him a hug. Got the hug. Well, y'all want to know who is in fact in hell? I grew up with a man named Tony Martinez. He was oh. a guy that went after chicks in the bathroom. He recently died. And I just promise y'all this I'm a big Jesus believer. And being that kind of guy, I truly believe he's in hell right now. My cousin Grace, on my mother's sister's side, the youngest of the cousins, she was a sweetheart. She's now a nurse in Dallas, Texas, has red hair, you name it, she's got it. There was one evening... We were all at the gas station. <laughs> hey, Red Band, yeah. was that you? Stupid. W- William, did you see that uh, Justin Bieber was officially diagnosed with Lyme disease this week? What do you think Can about you that? Can you please talk a little slower? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what were you saying? Did you see no, that this okay. week? It's okay, you wouldn't have to repeat it. Justin Bieber has Lyme disease. William, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts are last week, I had what I guess people call a nightmare. I was in a dream. I was in my parents' attic. It was bigger than my parents' attic, but I knew I was there. And there was a ghost, and someone walked up the steps, and I pointed to a ribbon on the door handle, and I was like, watch, it's going to be able to be tied into a ribbon, and it was. Fast forward maybe five minutes later, the ghost started throwing candlesticks just at me. I was making noise in my sleep. I was woken up. I was freezing cold. Classic nightmare. Fast forward to two years in the past. I'm in an elevator with people looking at them. Super vivid. Everything's going all right. The elevator starts shaking. We start free falling. Before we hit the ground, I wake up and I'm at the banana plantation down in Jamaica where I used to work. 2005. I worked at a banana plantation with my Uncle Lance. Let's give it up for Lance! Lance is here, y'all! I love that man! Hold on, Ban- Blink-182, hold on a second here. William, what is that if you Hey, Travis? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh my god. William, that you don't know that person. Travis Michaels? That's Travis Michaels. Where? Which one? 
with the dyed hair stand up, Travis. Is that, is that Travis Michaels? That's Travis Michaels, that... y'all. Let's give it a hand for him. <laughs> Sir. Travis gave Stop. me the chicken box. Blank 182. Blank 182. Come on, guys. All right. Very good. Is your name really Travis Michaels? Travis, thank you for going along with it, you piece of shit. <laughs> All right, that well. was going to be my... When's her birthday? January 26th? It is. It's my birthday as well. <laughs> okay. Is it really, William? You have a Do birthday? the math on that. I'm what people call a soothsayer. Okie dokie, William. Uh, you did it again. It's not easy to write a brand new minute every single week. All the other people you've seen tonight... Perhaps they've been practicing for months and years before getting back up here, but William has to do it every single One week. One of those pieces of shit, I'm not going to say their name, has been practicing for years, and he's now one of the people on the Brothers in Cursive Facebook page with all the other pussies. Wow, look at that. Those what? pieces of shit. Taking shots at his own fan Three base. nights ago, somebody pretended to be me. You know how I felt then? I felt horrible. Okay, William. Uh, this is, uh, all right, we got through it. That was a good, good show tonight. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Stand me. <laughs>